Okay, welcome to the Emerald Isle and punches down for the Morgiana Hurdle, which is race 20 on your cards. Thanks for those last calls from Newbury Martin, as we're going to wait for the runners to come. It's a two mile, it's a grade one. It's a nice small field here. Bold Ruler for Thunderspark is number one. Boomerang for Graham Clutterbuck. Limestone Lad for John. Silver Lock for Jim Murray. So Usain Bolt for Paul Rhodes. Five for Luna Bible for Hand. Six. Seven is Mark James D. Hinton. I missed a couple there. Orange Eyes. And I think the last one was The Big Show. So Orange Eyes for Moilets and The Big Show for Josh. So I hope we're going to wait for him to settle down and straight into the first here at Punchestown. And they're over it. We're going to have seven more hurdles to go. And it's Mark James and Silver Lock that are going to lead us. The one against the fences of Faluna Bible. But they're all fairly closely packed here. Only a length between them all at the moment. The nine runners. Silver Lock is the one that's just poking itself ahead now. And it's going to come into the second hurdle first. The one on the inside is Sir Usain Bolt. For Paul Rhodes. And we've got the one out wide outside here is Boomerang. Let's hope he comes back okay. But it's Silverlock that takes the second first. They're all over it. A bit slow at the rear by Faluna Bible. But it's Silverlock that still leads us. Limestone Lad has taken second now. And up against the fences to use Sir Usain Bolt. And then we've got the big show in between those two. Still out wide is Boomerang. And inside of Boomerang is Bold Ruler. Then we've got uh, the orange silks of Orange Eyes, the grey horse of Mark James, and up against the fence with no room at the moment is the big show. And into the second hurdle, everybody's over that. And just the one at the rear at the moment is for Luna Bible. But there's probably only 10 lengths from start to finish at the moment. And we're through uh, three of the jumps, and then we're going to approach the fourth hurdle. But it's Silver Lock that still leads by three or four lengths now to Limestone Lad, the grey Mark James. On the outside of that is Bold Ruler making some progress, as is Boomerang. Then a length followed through by Sir, Us Sir Usain Bolt. I had terrible trouble with that one. And Orange Eyes. And there are a couple of lengths just ahead of the big show for Luna Bible at this stage. So we're approaching the uh, eight furlong pole. They take the fourth. Everybody skips over it. And it's still Silver Lock bowling along in front. Leads by three to four to Limestone Lad, Mark James and Bold Ruler. They've been followed through by a length or so from Orange Eyes and Boomerang. Then we've got Sir Hussein Bolt, The Big Show. And Faluna Bible, just a couple of lengths detached at the moment. But it's still Silver Lock. Jockey takes a little look round. Not being challenged by anyone at the moment as they go over the fifth. A really poor jump there by Mark James the Grey. has demoted himself into the wards of the rear now. But it's still Silver Lock from Bold Ruler. Limestone Lad against the fence, Orange Eyes on the outside wider still is Boomerang, the grey Mark James is still there, the big show just stalking, then we've got Sir Usain Bolt which is in a surprisingly rear position at the moment, Paul won't be happy but it's for Luna Bible right at the rear but up front, Silverlock heads for home whips out and the jockey starts to make his move, Bold Ruler in second, they take the sixth, they're all over it, Bold Ruler looks like the one to challenge first, but out of the pack comes Mark James, still the grey, running well, Boomerang still there, the one against the rail is Limestone Lad the one further out wide now is Orange Eyes, but up front it's Silverlock and Mark James, these two are starting to pull away Silverlock by length to Mark James pulling away a little bit further, out of the pack comes Orange Eyes for Moilets, but it's Silverlock that leads we've only got I think one hurdle left to negotiate, and it's Silver Lock takes it well. No, that was the penultimate. Poor jump there by the Bold Rulers, demoted him well back. But up front, it's still Silver Lock, leads by a couple of lengths. The one that's going to challenge now is Orange Eyes. The rest is trying to come out of the pack. Limestone Lad and Mark James, but it is Silver Lock. Inside a fell and a half, he stumbles over the last, which has allowed Orange Eyes to take it up now. It's Orange Eyes, Silver Lock, Limestone Lad and Mark James. It's between these. Big Show's got nothing left, but it's Orange Eyes is inside the final half of Furlong Orange Eyes leads by, by a length from Silver Lock. Limestone Lad is these three. Here comes Limestone Lad. On the inside is a wall. Silver Lock. I think Orange Eyes just hung on to it there. Just as they hit the rise. It looked like uh, both John and Jim's horse might just catch Moilets there. And in fact, he may well have done. No, it's been given to Orange Eyes at the moment. From Silver Lock in second, the long-time leader. Limestone Lad was third. The big show was fourth. I think Graham Clutterback's boomerang fifth. And it is Orange Eyes that gets it just by a head. Good win there. Second was Silver Lock for Jim Murray. Third was Limestone Lad for Ghost Supper. Fourth was the big show for Joshua Southern. didn't really get into it. Fifth was boomerang for Graham Clutterback. And so Usain Bolt was seven for Paul Rhodes. He won't be happy.